show you the pictures on. Okay, this is Eric Deloach, your residential uh, book author um, in the U.S. again with another edition of American Authors and Others, and we have a uh, a regular uh, guest of ours who is a award-winning um, painter, very good at his craft and what he does, and has been recognized several times. At this time, that's allowed him to introduce himself, and we're in for a treat. People, with, he's going to um, from the UK. He's going to uh, show us some of his 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 works and um, really ed educate us there. And it should be a lot of fun. But let's let him introduce himself and let him, uh, I guess you say, start the show. Okay. All right. I've got a screen that says "Got it or leave meeting." And I've tried pressing "Got it" and nothing happens. Well, I, uh, I see. I see. I do see you. Right. So, uh, okay, go, hi, hi, guys and girls. Um, I just wanted to, uh, I'm going to show you around my studio in a minute, but I just <laughs> thought you might like to see a few uh, paintings on the wall in the living area of our well, house. Tell, tell, you got to tell them your name, introduce your name to oh, them. Oh, sorry. Um, my name is Richard Waldron. Yes. And uh, I'm a British artist and uh, I live in a place called Biggin Hill where the Aerodrome is that uh, hosts a fleet of, um, I think it's eight um, Spitfires. Is that right, Sarah? How much? 13. And I'll 13. 13 Spitfires, my partner tells me. Yes. Um, and uh, right, so uh, now do you know how, Eric, how I can switch the camera to look at the other direction or is it always only going to be? Working, looking in the direction it's going now. Well, you um, can, if you walk around. I mean, I'm not, not you don't have to speed around, but I kind of see a few pictures to the side of okay. you. So uh, it's looking at me through the screen then. Right. So, right. Um, so these are. Let's see if I can get closer. Um, this, this one here. Um, hang on. Where are we? I see, I see a, a water, I think, and a cell, and, gra and grass, right, right there, by, right, right here, by the light. I see. Uh, okay, you have a light right there, uh, and then next to it, you have a picture with um, the like is so is the ocean or sea or something. Oh yeah, yeah, that that's um, that's very much in the style, or similar to the style of Van Gogh. Um, okay. With a very heavy impasto. Um, and uh, can we turn some lights on, Sarah? Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. One second, right. Eric. I'm just going to turn the lights on. Okay. So okay. On clearly. Yeah. Um, all right. So different pictures. This one. Can, can you see that? I can see that. Yeah. There you go. I see it now. I see the whole. It's like a bridge over water. I think. That's it. That that is a bridge in Ireland. Okay. Um, in, and that uh, is the closest of in Europe, closest point in Europe mm -hmm. to the uh, States. Okay. And to uh, Nova Scotia, which okay. is where the cable was laid many years ago, the first mm -hmm. transatlantic cable. And that wow. is the island of Valencia, um, mm. which is in County Kerry in Ireland. Wow. And uh, as I say, that that bridge that bridge there is disused now. It, there was a railway bridge across to the island, right? But if you want to go to the island now, you have to either get a boat boat across, or mm -hmm. you have to drive several miles to the other end of the island, where there is one remaining bridge. Wow. It's very isolated. Okay. Um, then we're going to move across here. Yeah. And can you see? I can see a little bit. Right. The, can you the, see the, uh, some apples and an apron? Oh, I see that. I can kind of see it. Yeah, I this, can see this. This is the one that's won the uh, award as um, uh, painter of the uh, still life painter of the year in the UK. What? Wow! Um, and that's a watercolor I did. Actually, uh, did that for some students. Um, okay. In, 
in quite in a quite short space of time, probably 20, 30 minutes a mouse. And wow. um, and the uh, and I thought nothing of it. And uh, there was a, a competition in the States for something called Artist Table. Right. Um, and uh, I sent that in with my tongue in my cheek, really, thinking yeah. oh, I've got I've got no no still less to offer ready. Right. And that got bronze. Yes. And then I entered it again for uh, the competition in this country mm -hmm. for Still Life for Artists of the Year and um, for the Society of All Artists in Britain. Yes. And that won, that won first prize. Wow. It, it does look nice. It's, I can understand. It's very well, very well done. And then if I drop down a bit, right. this, is, this is a pastel. Yes. Um, a pastel painting of two fishermen at a place called Hurtwood Lakes in Surrey in England. Wow. Um, and I sat there while they were fishing and drew that on the spot. Wow. Okay. That's nice. And the one I first started showing you is over here. Yes. And that, that is um, quite an old one, mm -hmm. but much heavier in pasto. Uh, I, you can see the brush strokes and the depth of the... Um, paint in right. the same sort of style as Van Gogh used. Um, right. Very, you know, heavy, heavy day. If you look at the clouds at the top there, for instance, yes. you can see the, the thickness of the paint. And down the bottom with the flowers, you can see the thickness of the paint again. And that was another view of the same island, Valencia Island, with a, a little sailing boat in the back. That's nice. That's okay. Really... And so I'm going now over here. This is... Um, something which uh, has been sold in effect by mm -hmm. web designer. Um, yes. Uh, wa wa wanted this as a payment for his web design work. Right. And so I've sold that to him um, okay. as, as, a, as an original. Right. And uh, he's, he's um, happy, very happy to have that. Um, of course. It, can, it can be reproduced, all these can, can be reproduced, by the way, as prints, if anybody's right. interested in buying prints off me. Okay? Definitely, definitely. And I'm going to move up the stairs a bit. Uh, this was a sketch. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Um, I can see that. Of Windsor Castle. Right. And, in fact, I've been invited to go back this year and do yeah. the same competition. It was a competition for a group of artists chosen mm -hmm. artists to go and um, draw Windsor Castle yeah. for, for the Queen. Right. Um, and uh, um, so I shall be doing that again in a week or two from now. Awesome. And I'm going to move up the stairs a little bit. Right. And here we've got uh, something which I did in an evening class yes. just as a study for the, drawing the nude. Okay. Which, as I'm sure you know, is... Right, right. Often done by artists as an exercise. Yeah. Uh, so bit, uh, that's quite an old one, that one. That's, um, yeah, yeah. I did that on a holiday that was uh, a Greek island. I can't remember where now. It's a long time ago. Right. I'll skip past that. Right. And uh, here we have something drawn in the style of uh, an artist called Tobolsky. Right. Where you, you keep your pen or your, pen, your pencil or crown or whatever on the paper and don't take it off and don't look at what you're doing. So you're just drawing from observation and wow. um, it just comes out the way it comes out. <laughs> right, very nice, very nice. And then this one here is, a, is interesting. Yeah. Uh, it's just a little watercolour. Yeah. Um, but it's actually got some interest on that. Um, sure. I've got somebody who wants, I've got to find out what it is, but somebody wants to buy that as a, I think it's a TFL or an NFL or something. Right. In other words, um, in other words they buy it as an image rather than as a, an actual physical painting. And wow. uh, apparently they pay quite good money for it. So Absolutely. we'll see how that goes. Absolutely. Um, this one here mm -hmm. is um, a pastel. Um, and it's uh, obviously a still life. Right. Um, I set it up. Mm -hmm. for a group of artists in Dorking and Surrey in, in England. Right. Uh, when we when I lived in Dorking. Mm -hmm. And um, 
nobody wanted to draw it except myself. So I sat, <laughs> sat in, the really? okay. in, okay. in an afternoon. And then if I move up, hang on a minute, let's move up a bit. So if we move up to this one, I don't know if you can right. see that, or is the glares, glares too much? I hope it's not. No, I can see it. I can see it, yes. Uh, that's a watercolour. Mm -hmm. um, done what we call en plein air. Right. The, uh, out in the open. And um, that's, a, you know, just sat there on a, on a um, canvas chair and drew that or painted that in an afternoon. Okay. Okay. Now, I've got, now I'm going to go up one another step. And okay. This one. Um, this is in Wales where we were on holiday. Right. This is called this is called the dovecot. Okay. Uh, because it's actually built in the circular form and added on yes. to a Welsh cottage. Mm -hmm. And uh, we we went there as a as a holiday home. Okay. And I sat over I think three two three mornings I think it was. Mm -hmm. And uh, drew that so that I got the light the same in each morning. Mm -hmm. But I, I quite like that one. Um, yes, nice. Hang on, so bear with me. Oh, sure, go ahead. Uh, that same place where we stayed is actually this painting here. Okay. Uh, which is a watercolor of um, of the uh, the um, holiday let. Yeah. And. Um, what we're looking at here is a view of the part that the owners live in mm -hmm. and the other side of it is a railway station mm -hmm. or was a railway station mm -hmm. uh, for castle howard mm -hmm. which is a castle in england in the north yorkshire dales mm -hmm. and um the other side of it is the other side of that house is, is the old waiting room Mm -hmm. uh, which has been converted into a luxury apartment, Sorry. which we stayed in, in for yeah. a holiday, my yeah. partner and stuff. Oh, right, moving yeah. across, this is something I did in Arl, mm -hmm. which is where Van Gogh lived for a long time. Yeah. Um, and uh, can you see all of that? I can see that. I, I can't see what you're saying. Oh, hang on. I yes, can. I can. I can yes. see that. Yes. That's all right. Yeah, um, so that was in Arles, and yes. uh, again, I painted that en plein air uh, in oil. Uh, was it acrylic? Might be acrylic, actually. Um, right. I can't remember, to be honest. Uh, mm -hmm. I thought it was oil. But anyway, um, it, it's, uh, I don't know if you know the famous picture that Van Gogh did of the bridge at Arles with, uh, a, cantilever, with a cantilever bridge. Do you know the one I mean? No, nah, but I, I know him, but I, yeah, nah, but but that the, what well you did a good job. That's something I can tell you from where yeah, you the, 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 this is the the modern bridge at all. Okay, um, crossing crossing the river. <laughs> um, yes. Right, moving around around a bit. Um, yeah. If I can show you this one, I hope I can get far enough away from it. Um, it's a this, vase, right? Hang on. This is a a, a vase of um, of uh, I think camellias. Uh, mm -hmm. Just drawn in the studio um, mm -hmm. end of. Right now, this is my studio door here. Okay. <laughs> I have hanging on it. Right. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to open that up. Yeah. Right. Um, right. So bear with it. So this is my studio. I don't yeah. Know, I don't see that. Wow. And uh, down the bottom here. There's something I'm working on. Let's pick that up. Yeah. Something I'm working on at the moment. Okay. Um, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> this is where <laughs> the magic happens, indeed. Um, <laughs> yeah. And this this is um, uh, going to have. It's it's only half finished. Yeah. I shall overpaint it, but it's um, it's a family, obviously a family of tigers. Right. And on probably on this tiger. I'm going to have a circle with a crosshair. Okay. Uh, like a rifle. Okay. And the, this is this is the sort of thing that uh, uh, this is a social comment, if you like. Yeah. Um, which is to stop people like the Trumps yeah. um, going out and shooting wild animals for fun, because um, wild animals deserve space on our earth just as we do. I agree. Um, and nice. uh, yeah, 
Yeah. Over here. Let me just turn this one around. Right. Um, this one. Here, oh, sorry, I have to move something. Yeah. Um, uh, right. Okay. So this one here uh -huh. is a floral painting. Okay. Um, which uh, was inspired by one of Van Gogh's paintings, which I saw in the Musée d'Orsay in Paris. Uh, right. When you walked into the room, the, his painting right. completely dominated the room. Uh, I, I can imagine. It just made, you didn't want to look at any other painting in the room. You just looked at this one. It was so and striking. This, this is my attempt to try and replicate that same feeling right. um, by painting flowers in the same sort of colours as he used, uh, particularly right. that yellow and green and the red. You know, this is, you know, we talked a lot in a previous program about color. Right, right, right. Color. That so was, this, yeah, that's the use of color in painting right. um, to, to create uh, what you might call oomph or um, excitement. Absolutely. Now, you had um, one on race, right? What? You, had, you did a painting about race or something. It wasn't, it was, it was the I same. haven't done that one yet. No, the race one I haven't done, done yet. You have done um, I've got another one here that I wanted to show you. Sure, um, sure. Hang on a minute. Yeah, go ahead. I can stop that falling now. Right, okay. that is that is the queen. You, you should know who that is. That is the queen herself. <laughs> is our queen? <laughs> yeah. But not 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 as she is now, but in about um, she was probably about fifty there or something like that. But okay. she's now uh, she's now over ninety and. I think she's over 100, actually. Or is she? I don't know. I can't remember. Um, anyway, that, that was a, a, an exercise in portrait painting from a yeah. Getty reference. Um, so just to show people that I could paint portraits. I, I wondered, could, could you um, get that to somebody in the royal family that maybe they may be interested? Uh, I don't think it's possible to get through to the royal family. There will be too many security guards and people. No, no, I mean that maybe some uh, through. Uh, I don't. I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, some type of way get in contact with somebody, uh, and maybe they may be interested in that painting. Well, I've published it on my website, and I published it on Instagram and on Facebook. Yeah, and uh, nobody's picked up on it yet. So. <laughs> So do, do, I, I think it's just, I just, just saw it as an exercise in portraiture. I'm to, sure somebody, uh, that's very, I mean, well done. I, what, are there in the, I'm sure there's, you know, citizens that really love her and admire her that would be interested in the picture of her. Sure. Um, uh, they're, they're very welcome to buy one, for, buy it from me or buy prints from me. Um, you know, they may, be on, they may be watchers of your program. Who knows? Who, who knows? Um, right. <laughs> Uh, I, I wonder, are there, are there anybody, okay, looking at that, that's well done. Um, had, have you ever, have you had anybody request a portrait of themselves? Uh, yes, um, I haven't got it here, but it's on my website. My next door neighbor actually um, asked okay. me if, if I could do a portrait of uh, their father right. um, as, a, as a birthday gift. So wow. That, that was a commission. Okay. But I don't have it here. It'll be on my website and on, online. Right, right. right. Um, this one I'm now showing you. I don't know if you can see that. I can see it. That that's. I belong to a bowling club where we do lawn bowls. Right. And uh, that is uh, a little A4 sized painting of somebody bowling a, a jack, bowling bowling the bowl towards the jack. Yeah. 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 yeah that's very nice. Yes. Right, I'm going to show you something which I've just done this afternoon. Wow! Um, bear, with, bear with me. This, bear with me. Sure, sure. Just, We're let's here. Put that down for a minute. Um, okay. Okay. And I'll just put it. Pull it out. Um, can't do it without knocking everything else over. Um, okay. Wow. This right. is interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Very interesting. Oh, this is this is very this is awesome. Very nice. Very nice. Cool. We now get a this, chance. Yeah. This here. I'll put mm -hmm. it on the easel. And I'll be yeah. in a minute. Okay. okay. Um, 
This here. Okay. Right, here we go. Um, okay. So here, here we have a painting I've just finished this afternoon. Wow. Um, which is uh, uh, actually a, 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 an old frame of mine from many years ago. Okay. Um, and I, I did a little sketch in pencil, mm -hmm. and it was lying in my drawer. Okay. I picked it up and said, I must do something with that. Um, so that's mostly from imagination and a very, very rough uh, beginning of a sketch. Okay. So rather than looking at her and painting from her, I'm, I'm just working over a, a pencil drawing that was just literally an outline. Wow. And Isn't again, you can see the Van Gogh influence coming in with the work on the background here where I've mixed greens and reds. Mm -hmm. which are totally opposite on the colour spectrum. Yeah. And that creates a certain excitement. Of course. Um, but of course, here I've got the, the flesh tones. Mm -hmm. Here I've got a hint of a, a life drawing. And this was what she was wearing at the time. I mean, this was from a photograph. Sorry, not from a photograph, from a, a sketch, as I said earlier. Um, right. Some, oh, uh, how many years ago? Um, I must have been about 30, so... Over wow. over fifty years ago. <laughs> wow, wow, that's amazing. And I just I just saw it lying there. And I thought must do something with that. Yeah, so pulled it out and uh, and and drew that this afternoon. That's a pastel. Yes, um, pastel drawing. Is that person still alive? Uh, uh, I'll just Not shut sure. the door. I'm going to shut the door for a second on this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. I don't know the answer to that. Right, uh, right, right. She was she was a very, very, very close friend, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Oh, no one you should know. <laughs> okay. Wow. Uh, um, right. right. And down here, this is where all my old my paintings are. Right. You know, a sort of rack here. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, there's everything here that you can imagine. Um, I mean, this one here. For instance, if I can get it out, right. uh, is a canvas. I'll get this out and put it on the, on the easel. No, I'll put it on the floor here. Okay. Um, right. So this is a bit of a different style. Um, wow. More graphic. Um, wow, that is that lot, is amazing. A lot of people like that, but it's it's, it's more sort of graphic. It's not so not so academically drawn. It's more Graphic and and you see that diagonal. I really like that. Uh, you see the diagonal that, that yes. is in response to something I read. But if you have a diagonal in a painting or a photograph, right, people will always like it. Yeah, I I I I would be. A, I can testify to that. Yeah, I really like that. But, but that really that is just of a, a single person going through all the moves that a dancer, right. uh, a ballet dancer does. When right. practicing. So each of those is like a separate movement. Right. Sitting down at the bottom there. Yeah. Um, uh, and going through the process of, of uh, learning to dance on the bar. Uh, yeah. I was, I would say amazing. Absolutely incredible. My, my uh, thing that I would ask you is that you have these great paintings and I, everything, everyone was, was uh, you know, great. Do, have you ventured out into NFTs? Um, uh, you know, well, find the right uh, the NFT, the NFT market is something I've, I'm just learning about. And the one that I showed you with a stag earlier, yeah, um, I've been offered a large sum of money for that on an F NFT. But I don't know I, that I trust the NFT system, and, uh, and I, I'm trying to work it out. And I, if if you know anything about it, I'm very pleased yeah. to know something about it myself because i have right. to apparently i have to put about 1500 or 2000 pounds into a bitcoin you you um, might you may have a, you know um several millions right there i'm being honest with you. i mean maybe i don't know what i'm talking about but i think i heard that they're doing very well i don't know how it all works you may have to research a little bit but uh from 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 the great work that i see um I think that you may have a, you know, uh, you, you you may be 
if not already, uh, be be a multimillionaire and and less than a month probably. Oh, um, considering I, I've never made much money out of fine art in my life, um, that would be a first. <laughs> I, I would, I would, you know, who would? I mean, athletes, different celebrities, different people would be interested in this in this type of art. Um, just, so just, and so, I, I mean, screen now while we talk. Yeah. Um, to to where the other paintings are stored. Right. I'll, right. I'll, I'll talk to you now and then make well, a shout. Oops. Well, so one I'll thing start. is, I wonder if there any way that they can set up, say, this video, for example, can they set that up so that people can kind of look and choose? You know, they can look at this video and oh, I rewind back to that piece, and you know, what I'm saying they could actually. Oh, pick. I, as I said, I have a, I do have a website that the. Uh, who, who, who wanted that uh, Monet Lily's picture right. uh, downstairs? Um, right. he, he's he he wants that, and he mm -hmm. um, so so he's made a website for me, and and all these paintings, mo not all these paintings, but most of them or some of them are on the website right. now. Right. Um, and I, I add to it as I go along, right. uh, putting more paintings into it. Um, yeah, but this is kind of uh, interesting. That this uh, interview that we we have is kind of you you're walking around in a um, you know in a in in the artist studio and kind of um, that's correct. I mean, this, very this one here is completely different, and I right. haven't finished it yet. And I I was going to abandon it, but I, I think I might come back to it. Um, hang on, if I can get it out without the damage yet. Um, this is using the Fibonacci principle. Um, that that could actually is, go. That actually could could be a painting by. I mean, if you did anything else, I I think it, it's fascinating. I mean, it's fabulous just the way it is. But I mean, of course, there's a, you know what else you would want to do to it. But it, it looks pretty. It's pretty interesting the way it is. But. Yeah, there may be a few more things you want to add. Well, to it. There are just some improvements I could make on it. I mean, right. the little drawing of the baby here is very unfinished. Right. It's right. It's um, it's, it's you know that needs some work. Right. And probably the colors need a bit of work. Um, right. I'm not sure, and, and they need to check the measurements exactly to the Fibonacci right. uh, measurements. Um, right. Do you know about the Fibonacci principle? Uh, I'm being educated as we, uh, um, on what would they say in real time right here. <laughs> well, look up if you if you or the viewers want to do this. Uh, yeah. Look up Fibonacci. On, I'm gonna leave it to the hand. professionals, which would be you. Um, but I, I I'm a I can call myself a, at this point now a a um, privileged um, professional viewer. <laughs> right. this, this here this here is is um, is a, just a small print from right. a small word print. Right. from the picture that I just showed you of the ballet dancers. This so is that's amazing. what they call a G clay print. Right. Um, which is um, is photographed uh, and scanned by professional scanners okay. and then printed out on canvas yes. to exactly the same colors and exactly the same size or, 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 or not right. um, as the original. So, yes. you know, apart from the fact you can't actually feel the brush strokes. Right. Pretty much the same as the original. Do you uh, have your first like major painting that you entered a competition, or your first major painting that you have done? Uh, have you, you, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not quite hearing you. Say that again. Do, do you have uh, still your first major painting that you've done for a competition? I just the first one that you's like, okay, I really have the talent. This is great. Um. I can't, again, I haven't got it here. Um, my right, sister's right. Got, my sister's got a painting I did when I was eight. Okay, and, wow. Um, it's, uh, I, I can't show it to you, but it's sort of a, a, a glass decanter right. with, I think, wine or whiskey or something in it on a, a, an antique um, right. table. No, no. It was in my grandfather's house when I lived with my grandfather when my mother and father were breaking up. Sadly. Okay. And um, Sorry. what happened was that my grandfather and father were both um, quite, well, my grandfather was a wealthy man. He was the chief right. uh, bank manager at, Lloyd, at Lloyd's Bank in, in the city of London. Okay. 
and so he he was not a poor man by any means Absolutely. Um, and he left me uh when when i was 26 i think it was he mm -hmm. left me uh 10,000 pounds for when i was 26 which in today's money would have been a lot of money right right um but i never saw a penny of it because my father who was a stockbroker right uh, was also a gambler okay he gambled away a huge amount of money i mean Wow. Huge, 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 huge amounts of money. My grandfather bought something like five houses wow. that he rented right. in, uh, in Surrey in England. Right. And, um, and nowadays, each of those houses would probably worth, be worth a million. Wow. And um, I think you're going to get your money back in. Uh, if you, the NFTs is, is probably an uh, avenue you need to investigate. Well, I'm, I'm, it's interesting you should mention this because this woman came on to me and asked me about would I sell on an nft um, yeah. my first reaction was no no that's like bitcoin no thank you very much um, no it's it's actually it's actually i think i could be wrong don't quote me but i think that it's actually doing better than bitcoin Con, all of them it's doing better than all the bitcoins and well i've and, seen stories where artists have sold for very large amounts of money on 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 nfts right. it's not but, it's not you, that, the crazy thing is you don't get the original painting you just get a picture of it Right, what well, yeah, but the, yeah, like I said, yeah, but it they're it's doing exceedingly well as far as I understand. People are doing very making making fortunes on on that. Um, let me ask you this real quick. We got about four minutes or whatever. Um, that I've have you thought about b becoming a book author? I'm always p pushing people to be book authors. That's one of my passions. Yeah, I did tell you in a previous meeting that we had. Right. Um, online meeting that I had actually half written a book. OK, it's nothing to do with art. <laughs> OK, well, yeah, yeah I, I think I remember now you need you need to do that one. But what I was saying, turn because you're award winning author, I mean, painter, excuse me, painter, um, that. Maybe a painting picture book, sometimes those people do that, you know, they they well, they may t actually take a physical picture, but I'm saying you some of your paint paintings that you would want to you know and you may just say a few small little words about it you know or just this painting this or whatever you name it and make that into a a, a book for, well, and people and maybe some people it, would it's buy it's another it. discipline and it takes you know it's it's pu pushing yourself into a different discipline from being an, an artist painter well and, i'm a, you know, well, you, I'm a you, songwriter you know, you know, I'm gonna remember that I'm 83 years old. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, it was I'm a, I'm 53. I, I I used to I used to be initially I was a songwriter. Okay. And what happened, COVID came, you know, and I was so upset because you know the guys they didn't want to record. And I understand because you know, you may catch COVID in the studio. So I, my hands were kind of like nothing to do. So I just I just let me write a book. Right. I became an author because I was bored to death. And, and, and you published that through Amazon or, yeah, yeah. or Amazon as an online book? It's an online book, Amazon. Right. Yes, I, I think I, I just I got a sale got a, yesterday. I saw a half brother in law who, who's, who's done that. Right. Um, he's written a book about his experiences as a prison officer, as a, not as a prison officer, as a, 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 um, a mortician. Okay. He cut up bodies. You know. Right. And um, quite macabre, really. Right. Uh, but he apparently is is doing quite well with that book. But, so but um, he can yeah, help you, it is and also it's yeah, definitely he, something to consider. But you yeah, know, you can't yeah, do everything. He, he can help you, and also your daughter, or even um, son-in-law. You you have enough re, uh, support there that 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 it, with the knowledge that could help that take place. You know, sure, well, and a, a, a lot thought, of books. You, you may you may remember that my daughter who i've just seen she's just been over to with my grandchildren funnily enough right. into this country i saw her last week um, <laughs> right. she she is um a, a, a poet and uh, writes writes books um yeah. and teaches people how to write create do creative writing in, in the university right. of uh, of south carolina right and uh, i mean my my son uh, again I, if you remember yeah. My son is, is not um, a creative writer in that way, but right. he, he works for people as a 
he was a professor until about two weeks ago at right. Cambridge. Right. And he's just he's just chucked the job up and gone as a as a consultant. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe there's more money there. Let me tell you, we actually have a connection because my sister got her PhD, PhD in music from the University of South Carolina, and she actually teach college at the college level. But she graduated from the University of South Carolina. Right. My son's my son got his PhD at um, uh, near near where is it? Um, is it called Victoria Island or something? Right. It's um, well, it's in it's not it's not in Carolinas. Well, it's in. Well, uh, we, we we got we got less than we'll talk about we got less than a minute so 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 okay. so, so, so tell them where they can find you and this and and it's about to end so tell them where they can find you and right. of course well, we'll do we'll do another uh, video go ahead right at the moment we we're having trouble with uh, a, a company called Shopify who've cut me off because I haven't paid some small so, bill so so tell so tell tell me tell me tell me tell them where they can find you but if they if they go to www dot richard waldron all in one word Yep. Um, dash art dot org. Yes, that should be one way of finding me. Yes, or if you look at Sachi or Sachi Art, yes. um, some of my paintings are on there. Um, or um, the other place would be uh, yes. Sarah.